Hi everybody, so here's a little step-by-step -step guide to how I created the hot and sour beef. So you're going to need some nice thin strips of beef of your choice. Then you're going to need some Leah Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, um, some soy sauce, some chilli flakes, some corn flour and tomato sauce, some chopped onions, peppers and some grated ginger and garlic. Okay. So firstly, just get your three garlic cloves and a thumb sized ginger and grate it all up. Mix it up with your peppers and just put it in a bowl to one side and leave that to sit. Then oil your pan with some olive oil. Add two strips of beef. So a nice hot pan, make sure it's sizzling. After a minute or two, add in your peppers, with your onions and your ginger and your garlic. And just give it a nice stir, making sure that it's all coated and all the onion and the garlic and things are mixed in. Then you want to add your tablespoon of soy sauce. You want to add five teaspoons of Worcester sauce, half a cup of tomato sauce, and about three tablespoons of chili flakes I've used, but you can use as less and as more as you want. So once you've added all that in, just give it a good mix, making sure that it's all coated through and just allow it to bubble on the stove just continuously stir it leave it on a hot high heat just to make sure that everything cooks through and it makes the beef a lot tender as well for the longer you cook it um, oh my god this smells amazing <laughs> what you want to do next is you want to add your teaspoon of corn flour that'll just give it some thickness as you can see, it's thickened right up. Just st keep stirring that cornflour in just to make sure that you don't get any lumps and bumps in with the sauce. Next, you want to spoon it up onto a plate. I save mine with rice. We literally live off basmati rice. Um, sprinkle it with some chilli flakes. Then add your springies. And some little herbs as well, just to make it look pretty again. The spring onions and herbs are optional. And voila, there we go. I've never made this dish before for the street kitchen. I do make it at home, um, but it's definitely something that I'm going to be putting on the menu. So remember to tag me in your recipes if you do create this as well. And thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.